Oops, why am I not having my breakout? All right, guys. Um, so thank you for letting me uh, uh, have a, uh, a 10, 15 minutes. Hopefully we'll keep it to 10 so we can get to adventuring. Um, but it's been a while since we kind of got together. Um, unfortunately, for the month of August, Eileen uh, and I have been kind of out, um, sick and recovering, and I think we're just getting back into things. Um, so apologies for um, late responses, and Hayden and I have been trying to get together and blah, blah, blah. So uh, thank you for your patience um, you know, concerning that. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about some things that are coming up in the future, and I just wanted to kind of talk to, about one main thing to keep in uh, kind of bookmark in your brain, if you guys don't mind. Um, upcoming in about, um, we're going to pencil in the last Sunday of September. It's not official yet, but that's going to be a big Vision Sunday. So on Vision Sunday, um, we're going to do like uh, many things on Vision Sunday. Hold on, let me turn down all these spell effects that are happening. Can I do that in my audio? You should be able Setting. to in your settings, yeah. System configuration. Sound effects, is that what it is? Yeah, there we go. All right. Cool. Um, so anyways, uh, Vision Sunday is coming up. And so what this means is we're going to introduce a new season of the church. Um, a lot has been happening. Things have been kind of going quicker than we've realized. And uh, we're trying to wrap our brains around all that's happening. So it's very different in this VR. Now that we're calling it VR MMO Church. This we're just evolving into a new season. Um, we kind of don't know where we're going uh, to one degree. And to another degree, we're writing down a new vision for what's coming up in the fall. So a lot of people ask me, hey, you know, what's what's uh, the five-year plan for VR Church? You know, you know, what's the model? And I'm like, man, I feel like we're more of a sailboat that's just following the wind. Like if we're just, you know, where the wind's going, we're trimming our sails to that and letting it take us in the direction we're going. So. That doesn't mean it's all nilly willy and we don't have a plan or a strategy or vision because that's exactly what pastor and lena and i are working on is the the vision and the strategy for the church um and so it's definitely evolved over the last six months um you know with rust with final fantasy uh there's so many things that are, are happening so uh that's a long way of saying that when vision sunday comes uh whether it's at the end of, end of september or maybe the beginning of october we're gonna um we're going to present the vision that we're going to have for the foreseeable future. That could be six months, that could be 12 months. And we're going to go into detail about all that's happening. We're going to focus on four church plants, um, probably getting ahead of myself. But so uh, the reason I'm bringing that up is because on Vision Sunday, whenever that is, uh, Coco is going to be ordained um, as an elder pastor of VR Church. So that's going to be a really big moment uh, for Pastor Coco. And as she uh, leads the church here in Final Fantasy, and as this kind of evolves, um, and so that's going to be a big day to pre to bring her up um, in front of all the church. So what I would love to do, as much as your schedule allows on this particular Vision Sunday, is to come to as many of the church services as you can. There's going to be four, two in alt space. I think the rust one might be hard for people to get to if you don't have that one, and that's okay. Maybe you can come on Twitch, um, and then. Uh, Two in alt space, one in um, Rust, and one in VR chat. So we're going to present the vision at all four of those churches. And part of that vision Sunday is to bring up the Final Fantasy team, to be like, here is the, the team for Final Fantasy. So even if you're on Twitch or if you're able to uh, attend in alt space, that's a Steam download. It's free. It's If you can get here into Final Fantasy, you're going to have zero problems getting into alt space. Uh, VR chat, same thing. Uh, Steam download, it's free. Uh, Rust might be the only one that might be iffy if you don't have that one. Um, and so that's not required. But I would love for you guys to, to bookmark uh, that day. And we'll get that day scheduled on the calendar so you know well in advance. But right now, we're penciling in the last Sunday of September, which is September 26th. Yeah, it's like not that far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah true, true. And, yeah, and we're not going to rush it or force it. So if it needs to be pushed, because, you know, Lena and I are just kind of getting back into things and, uh, you know, I'm not 100% yet. And so I think we're just, you know, let's not kill ourselves trying to get there. Uh, so um, just to recap, Vision Sunday is coming. Would love for you to attend as many services as you're able to so that we can present the Final Fantasy team 
uh, uh, code, you're going to be ordained at each service. So it's going to be like, in one sense, redundant, but in another sense, everyone across all of our MMO church needs to see you installed as pastor, you know, a Final Fantasy. So um, that's why you're going <laughs> you to be ordained like multiple times. And I then need, I need to... on that. Yeah. I'm going to have to see how that the times conflict with my local church to see what yeah, yeah, no I doubt. need to do about that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, again, it's, there's no like pressure. We'll, we'll, however many you're able to attend, if the final fantasy team is there and we just put a picture of up, up on the screen, um, just to talk about, you know, Pastor Coco's ordinations today. Uh, but it'd be good for at least one if, one of those times for you to come in, in person or in Avatar. The only thing I haven't worked out mentally uh, is I think the main ordination um, installing Pope Coco as pastor should be done here in Final Fantasy. I think um, whether it's going to be on that Sunday or maybe we make it on a different time, I think we should make it a big deal, post it on the Discord. Um, well, our services uh, because... are going to be on Saturdays. Yeah, maybe we can do it on a Saturday uh, during the service time that that you guys are picking. Um, you know, that could be a total that could totally be a thing. Um, the reason is because on Vision Sunday we're going to be a lot, and the ordination part for the other churches is going to be smaller. But I'd like to make it a more of a more of a formal ceremony here in Final Fantasy. We, we uh, broadcast it on the server, and we maybe we announce it here um, through shouting in in the towns, being like, hey. Uh, there's actually a real ordination coming on if you just want to come support and be a part of the uh, and maybe we can figure out some macros maybe he can help me out with that so that when the time comes we can just chat all those we can just do a simple kind of chat um through about the ordination what's happening and blah 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 and uh coco's here coco and the team is here for anybody that wants to connect spiritually grow their faith blah blah, blah. and we can find language and What's that? Not the medium. Oh, I'm sorry. No. Oh, you have to go, don't you? Yeah, I'm sorry. Thanks for joining oh, yeah, no us. Worries. Yeah, no worries. Have a, have a good day. Thanks for joining. Have a good hey, day. see you, Dudicus. Take it easy. See you later. Um, yeah. So, um, let's see here. Uh, and then I'm Pastor sure. Alina, you're, um, yeah, go ahead. I'm so sorry. I just got distracted. I just noticed the flying bat cat. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll be quiet. I didn't mean to make sound. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, what was that? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, where's where's the cat? I don't see it. It's a dudicus. Green dude. Yeah. It's a gala cat. No, gala uh, cat. Uh, gala kitten. Oh, he's flying. Gala kitten. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's on yeah. his shoulder. Uh huh. <laughs> um, let's see, Pastor Alina, um, is there any, anything else that you can think of? No, I do love, um, I think that, yes, we absolutely need to do a big celebration, a big, um, a Saturday ordination, um, for sure for, for Coco. Um, I know, honestly, this is, I excited this is going to be incredible um, and i would love if you guys could help me because i don't have the full scope of of aorza right um what the um where should we do this is there a really just beautiful space that you know we should do this at maybe, maybe that's noob friendly to the degree that ex noob accessible just in case people wanted to come in uh, maybe they're going to create an account or, you know trial account to come in so i guess nowhere too distant or too difficult something that can be accessed it, you know i would look to you guys about where um should we i don't know should we have a, a particular attire we should wear you know all that stuff is there some role play even though there's a like a formal side to it that that is tangible but maybe there's some role play of things that we could do that would be nice dress location uh i don't know we could hand out umbrellas can we give people i don't know whatever needs to be done um and and then maybe we could talk about you know the formal format of it like you know presenting uh coco before the community so yeah uh, and this reflects uh in scripture where it talks about where the uh elders would go town to town establishing elders so in one sense here's that's what we're doing here in the metaverse um 
Casserly and I were establishing elders across the metaverse. And so Coco is the first uh, of many uh, to do that. So let's see. So are they letting people create new accounts right now on this service? No. <laughs> no. No, oh, what's happening? No, we... not, 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 e not anywhere on this data center. Yeah. yeah, nowhere in the U.S. can you make a character. It's well, I think they're you can still do it in the other data centers. Yeah. Just not in this one. I think most of their servers are congested out, too. There's like two or three in the other data centers that are kind of open. Yeah. So there's just simply too many accounts that it yeah. can't support anymore, and that's what's happening? There's too many yes. players. Yeah. We are full wow. up. Wow. They're having trouble. Um, that's why you're seeing sometimes really long queues, and they're having trouble with congestion, which is could be detrimental to the servers. So they have to limit stuff. Wow. So people can't create new accounts right now. So you're lucky you got in when you did. I was just thinking exactly yeah. that. Really? Wow, did I get yeah. in in the nick of time. Oh, wow. Well. Um, and then here's really, so Coco's thing is the big deal. And here's the other big deal. Um, let me let me go back in time. Let's take a little time machine. One of the reasons VR Church you know, to, to a certain degree, just kind of grew and took off was back in 2017, this light bulb came on that this is a real church with a real community. And when we started thinking of it that way, that little mental shift, I think that set the foundation for what DRMMO Church is today. Um, and so before that moment, it was just more of an experiment, just a gathering. Um, and then the realization was like, oh, this is a church. This is like no different. And so what What's going to happen at the end of the month or on Vision Sunday is, is to say to the church at whole, like, listen, we're planting a real church in Final Fantasy XIV online in, the, in AORZ. And I think that needs to be stated in front of the church. I think it needs to be agreed on uh, with us in the community where two or three are in agreement. Um, that's, a, that's a powerful spiritual principle. And so in that moment, I think we're, we're, we've been talking about it. We're treating it like that. But in... But in other words, like 2017, here in 2021, for us to declare it before others and to say it in agreement, I think that's the foundation we need to lay. And so that's going to be a big part. It might not seem like a big deal, but that little mental shift, that little uh, public declaration, I think is going to really uh, set the foundation for something very powerful, very beautiful. Um, so uh, that's just something to keep in mind why why we're doing that, the why behind uh, what's up for the Vision Sunday. So again... Sorry to be repetitive, but uh, we'll get the date. If you're able to attend as many as you can, um, Coco, whatever you can attend as well. If not, we can reformat it with your picture and a declaration, you know, whatever. Um, and then, yeah, I think that's going to be that's going to be great. And um, any questions or comments about about all this? I do love how you just brought up the, you know, the us, you know, kind of just letting everyone know this is a real church you know um it's funny because just this morning um i had a, a message from some someone who serves with us and, and they were like um oh yes absolutely i want to i want to do what i can to um, serve at my church referring to our church and, and that just touched me so deeply because it's i don't understand where there's a where some where it falls apart um because so often I'll hear, even in people that have come to, to VRMMO Church for years, even people who serve at VRMMO Church, um, will refer, they'll be like, oh yeah, I can't make it. I've got this thing at my real church. Um, and there's this, I don't know where, hmm. what is in the mindset um, or what causes the mindset to shift from this is uh, a, a game, a fun, a side thing versus this is my church. This is a real church. This is my church. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know. I was, I, I, whatever that mental shift is, I think it's just really important. And I don't know if I, anybody has any ideas of, um, right. of what causes one way of thinking versus another and what can be done about that. I don't know about what causes people to think this is not, but I do think that um, there's still this whole 
issue with competition between churches and the way I see it for me is so I call it my local church at least that's what I try to do mm-hmm. um, which isn't really local to me anymore because I moved away <laughs> so. but um, I have two churches two churches that I serve or two separate organizations that I serve uh, but I see it as collaboration and I see it as you're all the church um, but I'm just serving both of you and not one yes because um, there shouldn't I agree there shouldn't be a, a us versus them we are all one body of Christ serving the same God with the same mission and um, uh, there's I don't understand the separation between churches either in that respect I do Excuse me, sorry. Continue, Corporal. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, that's all I had. Time. Um, no, I love that. And, yeah, in the past, it used to be where, you know, everyone had church on Sunday morning, so you couldn't serve two churches. Mm-hmm. Um, now it's different. Um, at the, for example, we have uh, people that serve at Cornerstone, and they serve at other places. Uh, yeah. Cornerstone's a, 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 a brother-sister church uh, in VR. And um, it's perfectly fine. Even early on, we had the conversation with Pastor J. Bill. He's like, is this okay? And I was like, totally, man. You know what I mean? Like, we're, we're not a cult. We're not trying to dictate mm-hmm. what people should do or do or shouldn't do. Um, so people need to have the freedom to serve where they want to. And so anyways, VR, digital, metaverse churches, it, it really opens up the opportunity to serve in, you know, uh, your local church physically, physically. Uh, multiple digital churches, you know, however God is leading you, wherever you're drawn to, you definitely do that, you know, definitely go in that direction. So, um, and then the other thing is, I wouldn't worry too much about, well, let me think, let me think, I might need to think through this more, but I wouldn't worry too much about like what people say is this real or fake, because I think in my, my journey um, is, I've just heard all the naysayers and the haters and all that, and then COVID hit, and then the attitudes changed mm-hmm. a bit. Um, so, um, I think people are going to think what they think and the people are going to say, this is a real, this is fake, but, um, it is real and it is tangible and God's everywhere. Um, you know, I think one of the, I don't know if it's going to be a motto of, but something that's just been in my brain and my heart, um, leading up to season five is that church can be at anywhere, anytime with anyone. And that's what church is. And so, um, yeah. that's just been kind of in my brain and if that can be in final fantasy. I'm not going to limit God saying you can't create spiritual community and change lives and transform people in Aorza. Like he can do whatever he wants to, and he is going to like, Mm -hmm. uh, and so I think it's going to, to take a phrase from the Bible, I think it's going to please the Holy Spirit to see this work being done. And I don't think we need to shy away from it. I don't think we need to be hesitant about it. I think we can move forward in full confidence. Uh, People early on didn't like that I would call VR church a church. Mm-hmm. They felt like I should call it ministry or, you know, whatever. And I, I was like, no, this is what we're experiencing is real and it's it's powerful. So I'm going to call it what it is. And so in the same way, um, here in the in the Aorzi, Aorzi um, this is going to be real, tangible, powerful and all those elements. And yeah. Uh, anyways, I think I'm I think people are boxing. I think part of the problem is that people are boxing church into a thing, into a thing on Sunday or a building or but. Mm-hmm. Um, that okay now I'm going to go to my real church but the church is the people it's the community so if we have a community in a digital space then that's still a community Um, Mm -hmm. so I think that's part of the problem is that they are um, still trying to box it yeah yeah. you're also talking about an age old thing with gamers too where it's like you have the two different types of gamers where it's like MMO players versus other gamers where other gamers are like it's just a game bro and MMO players are like well, that's my friends, my community. Yeah. Yeah. That's a huge part of why we have had yeah. zero issue with people considering it a church. Because it's just like, well, yeah, I practically live in this game, so I'd go to church in it, too. Yes. Um, uh, something, um, you, can, you can tell you, Pastor Alina? Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? I was saying, I was, was going to let you finish first before I wanted to say it. Oh, no, no, no. I was just kind of going, mm, yes, like, um, as I believe <laughs> agreement. that was speaking, yeah, <laughs> agreement, yeah. Um, it, for me, it's just something that people should understand that we are all the church. Like, if you believe in God, then you are part of the church. Mm-hmm. That's plain and simple. You said that in the Bible. 
Yes. It's not really a building that you're going to be in. Mm. It's pretty much the people themselves. Absolutely. But that also means that we all have a duty to pretty much work, work together to do our best. Absolutely. Yes. I love that. And and so as Bishop Soto was saying, you know, I'm not really worried about it. And and I'm I'm like not worried about it. I'm um I'm I'm not offended or hurt or what have you about people that don't um uh, think of us as a real church. But um I was just like curious. Um I know God will create um exactly what he has planned for us, you know. What whatever it, whether we um uh, pinpoint the what's making people think one way versus another um, it, it doesn't really matter um, it was more of a it's just like a curiosity thing um, I think more than anything but you've hit the nail on the head I think people in general are used to referring to church as a building that is um, church when in fact um, church is us mm -hmm. uh, actually coming up first Peter too, I believe we're talking about exactly that about us being um, the church. So First Peter two is a great, great place um, if you have anybody like that's struggling with that idea of, of church being a physical building, and it's you know conversation you're able to have. Um, so there's some good scripture there in First Peter two that mm -hmm. kind of highlights the fact that that, that mm -hmm. you know Christ is a cornerstone of, of this church, and 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 we are. It, blocks building blocks we are um building blocks that make up uh the church so just yeah yeah, yeah. and i knew you weren't uh, worried about it i was thinking like <laughs> uh, like how, how it might diffuse to other people like i remember an, an elder back in the day you know when this news article started coming out and the reaction about vr church and uh and a couple of people at the church got really upset because the first time like the, as a church we face criticism right um and at a large scale you know you know major I don't, not like, yeah, well, I guess they were, you know, people with many viewers and all that. And so I think it was, they wanted to respond. They wanted to create a response video. They wanted to convince. And I was like, I was like, you know, I'm not going to put my energy there just because I think that's just a, an uphill battle. Like, I'm not going to yeah. convince them. And so, um, yeah, I just think we just, you know, keep uh, going. yeah, just keep moving forward. And, mm -hmm. and uh, tox uh, Naked Toxicity says on Twitch, it's, all just about how the person looks at reality you cannot change anyone's mental reality everyone thinks differently mm -hmm. yeah and that's true that's a good mm -hmm. point well i can't really say you're not going to change anyone it's more if that person has within themselves that they will they are well to change because anybody can change if anybody can change it's all mm -hmm. about how if you yourself are going to let yourself change Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. I can't right. forcibly make you change. That's I think that's what yeah. you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like people are like that. You can't make someone change, but you can more like convince, uh, you can more like convince somebody. Yeah, you can plant seeds, and then um, the Holy Spirit has to do the work. Absolutely. Like with Paul. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and you know, to be fair, because I've been in a zillion of these conversations, probably like I don't know. I'm mean, like, it feels like once a week. I'm gonna interview podcast we know something uh maybe not that often probably one a couple times a month but anyways it's to be fair like church history has had 2,000 years of physical church buildings right and um this whole digital internet era is so new and so like when you start uh reimagining the church it's it's jarring to some people who's like look back for 2,000 years and goes but 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 you know this is how we always have done it and, you know whatever and so yeah uh, loyalty in, in, tradition. in 10 20 years you're not even going to think about it. like the next gen is not going to even it's not even cross their brain that this is an issue um but yeah we're in this era right now where it's kind of like uh uh but uh wait <laughs> the heresy or uh i don't know yeah i don't it's, think it's such an issue with the younger people at all ah uh, interesting not. yeah that's uh that's a, yeah, yeah. If you're trying um, to tell me uh, ancient right. preachers wouldn't abuse the internet to do their preaching, you're lying. <laughs> well, know, no, right? that's not. Yeah, they would have. They would have. They would yeah. Have. Yeah. And I love Vicious Soto, how you were saying how, you know, like people in general just used to this physical church for how many thousands of years? Well, go back just a little bit longer, and the physical church structure was not there. They were in houses and 
street yeah. corners and where have you. So um, we're just yeah. going mountainsides. You know, back, yeah, we're just going back to the the, right. the even a little further back to the beginning. And so yeah, that's good stuff. I might pull this for a TikTok. Some of these quotes. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I'll pull this old convo for a YouTube. It says, you guys don't mind. Does anybody mind? I don't know. Using their voice and likeness. Uh, um, Final Fantasy likeness. Yeah, they were they were in the marketplaces too. It's like they weren't just in. Yeah. They were everywhere. They were everywhere. Wherever they could, wherever they could gather, yeah. that's where they gathered, and that was the church. It's beautiful and <sighs> it's following Christ. It says Christ showed us. Um, Anyway, I'll, I'll stop talking. I'll stop mm -hmm. talking. <laughs> How do I know when, when who is speaking? Um, until I get to know you all better um, and, and know your voices. I've been looking around trying to look for identifying, uh, identifying markers. Of How do I know who's... Oh, I guess we're talking in Discord, so it wouldn't show up in the game. Oh, yeah. Dang it. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. So if you have, if you have the... You, have, you see the names above them, right? Yes. And then do you see on Discord, on like on, from my Discord on the top left, there's like the transparent names, like the whole list of people. And mine's highlighted right now because I'm talking. Yeah, I don't see Discord on my screen. She, yeah, I I, she may not it. have it turned she on. She may not have the overlay turned on. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Yeah, I have my overlay on yeah. soon when someone highlights our names. But okay. in Discord, we've got our nickname set to be our game names. So, uh, okay, cool. So what I see in there is what I'll see in here. And yeah. then uh, Bishop Soto, maybe next time we meet, you can teach me how to do the overlay thingy. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. Oh, sure. Any, um, any other cues? This is great. I'm going to pull this for uh, YouTube. Um, 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 we had yeah. been, I had been discussing with Alina and Chris and Hayden about maybe creating a video of my story for ordination, but I don't know. If you're Ooh, wanting to do it at the end of September, it may not have time, but because I have to, re I think I have to rewrite it to make it more relevant to nowadays. Um, I think that'd be a cool idea. Um, I I normally would be able to help you with that, but I don't think this month um, I'm going to be able to. But um, well, we were going to use my character in game and film it in Final Fantasy. Yeah, if we I know. Could, but. I, I still have to rewrite it and figure out how we'd even do that. Why don't you guys keep trying to move forward with that? See if it, you know, comes together in time, you know. And, and even yeah. if it doesn't come together in time, um, definitely we use it. Still yeah. use it and share it afterwards. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Yeah. So yeah, maybe maybe a thought, and it's not a bad idea because to do a follow up. Because as much as I would love for everyone to be there on Vision Sunday, all the services. We're going to capture it on like Twitch. It's it's going to need another like, you know, for that whole month we're going to be like go to on demand and watch it. And even if we had little sprinkling elements throughout the month of October talking about Vision Sunday, you know, so example, if you make the video and at the end of this month we use it, it's I still think it'll work to connect. It takes a good month for everyone to get on board or something. Just you know, life and school and work and attendance. So um, yeah, okay. Yeah, and that, a long way, long, that... long way of saying it's still. That removes a little bit of pressure because then I can just do it later. Yeah, yeah it's all right. Because I'm having trouble figuring out how to end it. I've I've rewritten most of it, but then I need to tie in now. So that's it's almost that's beautiful issue. how you don't know how it ends because it's your journey's not over. So it's, well, uh, no at end, least so to bring it to of... to current. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you mean. Um, I love like even at the end, uh, once it's current, you could even uh, share that something about struggling to um, find the ending for it, and then you could say something yeah, about there's, because yeah. your journey, your walk with Christ is is um, is not over. So I don't know. I'm just throwing something yeah. out there. Yeah. Um, shoot, I need to follow one to share. What is it about the end of the month? Uh, so it'll come back to me later, I'm sure. But um, yeah, any other questions or comments about what's coming up? You said you wanted to do that at the end of the month? Yeah, I think it'll be the last Sunday of the month. 
I don't know if that's hopeful, wishful thinking, uh, just because there's a lot of work that needs to be done. So, okay. yeah, I guess, well, yeah, I we've to know in advance because I don't have a replacement for me at my local church for mm -hmm. doing what I do. I'm trying to train people, but I don't have a replacement yet. Yeah, so. yeah, I think I think we'll definitely give a few weeks notice. Um, I think we only will get closer and closer. Probably this week, we'll probably get closer and closer to figure it out. Yeah, we'll so a minute. So uh, two weeks notice. So in two weeks, if um, we're not confident yeah. that it'll happen, then we'll let it'll everyone know. Be October, probably. In two weeks uh, enough enough notice. We'll definitely have a minimum of two weeks. Is that enough for you, Coco? Two weeks um, I need to just look at what times y'all are on to see. Oh, Because okay. my... Mine goes from 9.30ish a.m. my time to... It ends around 11.30 a.m. my time. Um... I do some other so stuff, be, but I can do that later. That would be 10.30 to 12.30 Eastern. What time are y'all's, what time's y'all's first service? That's actually pretty oh, early. Um, I think you, I think you duck all of them. Mm -hmm, I think you do. So they're not during that time? No, I think the earliest one starts at eleven Pacific time. Yeah, one, one, ten. Yeah, one, three, five, and seven Eastern. All Eastern. Yeah. So it's probably one, fine three, five, then. Seven. Yeah. Yeah, you talk to all of them. Well, yeah. and that's something. Yeah. Yay for Central Fair Time. Bird. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I, I think I, well, I mentioned you guys attending, but like, let me be more specific. Like, I want to bring up the whole um, FF14 team on stage, so um, just to. Well, so that the people can see that uh, so, or whoever is able to make it sorry i uninstalled rust <laughs> <laughs> time to reinstall because i was i needed room on my pc <laughs> yeah, I did. uh storage uh, yeah i got you yeah. so yeah i cleared out a bunch of stuff and uninstalled some stuff i wasn't playing um so i uninstalled it okay um, also, on that Sunday, I'm going to present, uh, Pasadena, we haven't gotten to this as far this far yet, the four churches we're focusing on. Like, I want to plant everywhere, and, and I have a bunch of ideas, And but I think what we've, me and Alina, learned over the couple, couple of years is not overextending ourselves, being sustainable. Um, as much yeah. as I would love to be in um, Rec Room, um, Los Santos, GTA, you know, uh, ARC, you know, all these things, we have to maybe scale back a little bit of focus. And so the four so, is going to be two, two in VR, two in MMO. So it's going to be all space VR chat, um, Rust and Final Fantasy. So, so you it, could, with, sorry. Oh, it, oh, just real quick. So with when, when presenting that to the church, it's going to be also an invitation. Hey, these are the four we're, we're really focusing on in the foreseeable future. Come join us. So there could be some people that are like, oh man, Final Fantasy, I'm really, that sounds like really interesting really drawn to that and so we could uh, possibly see some people help come join the crew what's up chat for green on twitch what's up man what are you, you saying could, you could do like rick warren um whenever someone comes to him and says you need to start this ministry or you need to do this and he said all right great you just signed up what do you need <laughs> yeah and actually uh, that yeah, is right that's it that's what right. it's funny you say that because there's a so on, Vi on Vision Sunday, there's a part two. There's community gatherings. I don't know what we're going to call it. Community churches, where uh, and we'll get. I'm still trying to figure it out, Lena. We haven't even talked about this yet, but exactly what Coco exactly. was saying. There's a whole section in our Discord where there's like the official four Sunday services, but then there's community gatherings, or it could be anybody could create a channel for a community they're passionate about. So if it's Ark or Minecraft, that's a big request. Uh, we make mm -hmm. like well how can we help you and you're going to be a community channel and perhaps you want to uh, be connected yeah. to this um church so yeah i think you'll see like the official side of vr church and then the official but also just like these aren't things that as leaders we're doing ourselves but you can do them and so if you want to do a minecraft church we're going to create a channel for you we're going to help you build that community 
you know, we're just yeah. going to be a support as much as we're able to support um, planting, but other people need to be the planters. Uh, we, yeah. So community, we whether we, yeah, we'll call them community churches, community channels. I don't, I don't know. Clan, right. you know, so yeah, that's I, definitely a part yeah. of season five. Cool. We're definitely. Hopefully, like, I, I'd like to remember word for word exactly how you shared that. Um, uh, it's recorded. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, what, what, can somebody help me figure out what, how to find this? And then maybe I'll watch the I'll, recording. Who knows? I'll try to find the highlight and share it with you. So. Yes, please. Thank you. Because uh, uh, that is a quote that I think will come out of my mouth countless times. So, um, and I love the wording. So it's beautiful. Thank you. What, the Rick Warren thing? Yeah, that you okay. just um Great, you just signed up. What do you great, need? Great, you just signed yeah. up. What do you need? Yes, yeah. that one. <laughs> that was good. Good stuff. Yeah, cuz I, right, uh, I have uh, ideas last... as well for community, so yeah, but I can't do everything either. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I would be in 10 more <laughs> I'd plant 10 more churches this year if I could, but Yeah. You know, one step at a time. That's the uh, like my gifting apostolic leap. Yeah. <clears throat> the the dangerous side of that is moving too far too fast. Like yeah. Um, there needs to be a like this tension where you're pulling the church, but also waiting, pulling them forward, also waiting. You know, give and take, yin and yang, if you will. Um, so. Yeah. That's apparently my gifting as well. So. <laughs> Yeah, right. and you never know. With these community channels, they're great, man. If, if one of them starts to take off, there's a lot of energy on it, then bam, that goes into an, uh, I don't know, terms are failing me, but an official church plan. You know what I mean? It like moves up yeah. to another category. Um, so yeah, I think so it's the started... idea of empowering, yeah, giving people the space to create and cultivate, and then... Mm -hmm. yeah, Starting so. as community groups, and then it, they may or may not grow from there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, at we least we can. Cool. Half of season five figured out there in that conversation. So that's well, <laughs> good. Glad we could help. <laughs>